so in this video we will learn about one new component it's called switch button it's a special type of button which renders either true or false it means it renders boolean values uh, you may have seen this type of boolean buttons on websites and many of the apps let me just show you this button here is called a switch button you can uh, you, you can toggle it and set it to true or false so let us create a react native project and open it on visual studio code i already opened the ios simulator if you are running this on windows machine you can also use android emulator and just run the app by npm start so first of all you need to import the switch component from react native and it renders boolean values so we will create a state let's say is enabled and the function to set this state by default it will be false because by default the switch button will be in false condition now let us use the switch it's a self-closing component it has multiple props let us just see them one by one the first one is track color the track color is the color of this track this gray one and the green one you can see here in the image when the button is in false condition the track is green and when we toggle it it's in gray so just like that we can provide two values for the track color the first one is for false condition and the second one is for true let's say when the button is in false condition we need track color to be red and where's where uh, it's in true condition we need track color in green the second one is the thumb color thumb color is basically this noble as you can see you can only you can provide uh, two colors also for this thumb color one is for true and one is for false so we have already declared the true and false uh, value for this state we can use that is enabled if it's true then let me provide yellow otherwise it will be let's say pink let me also use small letter here okay so when this switch button is enabled it will the thumb uh, color uh, is yellow otherwise it will be in pink now on value change and value change in on value chain we need to provide a function which toggles between true and false let me name it toggle switch and let me just declare the function toggle switch We will use this set enabled here 
we'll be using a condition let's say previous state First, we will uh, compare the current uh, state of this uh, switch button. If it's false, then we turn it to true. And if it's true, we turn it to false. If it's true, it turns into false. And if it's false, it turns into true. and last value what is the value of this switch button so we have created a state is enabled which holds either true or false boolean value we also created a function toggle switch which will take care of this current state of this button and toggle it accordingly here the component itself the track color we provided track color for false and true condition thumb color if it's true it uh, will be in yellow color otherwise it will be in pink and on value chain we are calling this toggle switch function and set its value to the switch component let me just save it so as you can see here is our button so first of all the thumb color is in pink because currently it's in false condition it's not in true condition so when i toggle the button the thumb color will turn to yellow so one thing you have noticed here is that here i provide a track color in false condition to be red but it's in gray so this one thing you need to remember when uh, you are uh, creating app for iOS devices because this noble is is very left hand side it's almost touching to the border of the track so to change this extra color the gray one you need to write one more property which is called iOS background color let me just uh, change this to red and then you will see this gray color will turn into red as you can see if you are creating app for android uh, devices then track color will work fine otherwise you need to use ios background color so when now i toggle the button it turns true and the track color will turn to green thumb color also turn to pink as you can see the thumb color is turned to yellow because it's true and the track color uh, turns to green because you provided green color into the track color we can also console.log value change so that you can see if you can or you want to perform any tasks you can perform this task here you can also provide if else condition based on its current state so that's it for this video we will see a example where we will be using these uh, multiple switch uh, buttons in our next video thanks for watching